Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to talk about the classification of uh, line bundles on a scheme, uh, just abstractly, for a moment. Um, so, so, let's take a line bundle. Or take, let's take a scheme. Uh, let's say scheme over a ring R. R, R is just going to be a commutative ring here. And um, let's take L to be a line bundle on Y. Um, then uh, what we can do is uh, we can fix a cover, a, a trivializing cover, uh, sorry, UI to Y, some index set. So this is going to be a cover uh, where with these trivializations from L restricted to UI to O uh, the structure sheaf of Y restricted to UI. Um, since this is quasi-coherent, this is really the same thing as uh, OY of UI. Okay, so really we can we can have an isomorphism here of OY of UI modules. Okay, so we're going to be a cover, and then we're going to these these are going to be the the trivializations. Okay, and note that, um, uh, so here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this phi I as well. And what we can do is, uh, what we can do is we can take uh, phi I inverse, or let's say phi J inverse. So I'm going to do a, a different J. So these are for every I, so I, could, I can pick another index. And then I can go phi I, and this thing here is going to be a map from O of U I J. I'm gonna, just going to omit the, the subscript Y to O of uh, U I J. Okay, and so this is an automorphism of uh, O of, of UIJ modules here. And so I'm going to call this UIJ. Um, here, UIJ, UIJ is, uh, is UI and then crossed over Y with UJ, which is uh, really just um, UI intersected UJ. Okay, for other sites, it's going to look like this. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so this is, we're just going to do, keep, keep things simple in this one. Um, there's lots of different ways to generalize this, but um, let's just, this is the most basic, this is like a, a basic nugget here, okay? Anyway, so we have this, this automorphism of, of, o, o of, uh, of O modules here, of O of UIJ modules. And so automorphisms here are really multiplication. So phi i j f is really equal to m i j times f for uh, O, uh, so this Mij is a unit here. So this is like a, or, or you could say that uh, uh, this is GL1 of Uij, okay? Um, you know, another, another way of seeing this is that, um, so this could be GL1 with matrices in here. Another, another way of seeing this is that uh, you could view GL1 as kind of a, a scheme Right, and uh, this collection is, is really, this has a natural projection here, and this is really sections of this. So this is a, another way of viewing this. There's lots of different ways. Um, uh, okay, uh, anyway, um, so, so, uh, so, okay, so, so what do we have? So we have this, this thing here, this MIJ. So uh, it turns out that, uh, that MIJ times MJK times MKI uh, as an element of O U I J K, so that's the triple intersection, this is equal to one. Okay? So this is a cocycle. This is a cocycle. This gives a cocycle. Uh, so in, so this collection MIJ is an element of Z1 with check cohomology with respect to this cover U, and this is this curly U, uh, of uh, GL1. And, um, and, and it's actually well-defined. So if I picked other trivializations, I would get a cohomologous co-cycle. Co so I'm going to make a definition now, a definition proposition. Okay, the, the, the definition is, the, so the proposition is um, that this construction only depends on Y and L. And uh, it's going to be a cohomology class. It's going to be defined to be equal to the, the equivalence class of MIJ. And it's an element of H1 
and the cover doesn't matter either, of Y uh, L, uh, O star. So there's units. Or, or, or another way you could put this with GM or GL1. Okay? Um, so this, this, so the proposition part is that this is independent. Okay. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to show that. Uh, that's, that's not hard. The, uh, other part, the theorem is, okay. So the theorem that we're interested in is, says that, um, uh, so if we have two guys here, uh, they're line bundles in here. Okay. So, uh, so L1 is, uh, sorry, L is isomorphic to L1 prime or L prime as, uh, as, as O mod or as, as Y modules, if and only if their classes are the same in this thing. So there's a classification of line bundles up to isomorphism given by this. And there's probably videos on the internet that do this. This is treated really well in lots of places. So I'm, I'm just going to state this. Um, all right, thanks for watching this. Uh, all right.